Hey guys, Clumsy here. You got that right, Alex. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Sorry we're a few minutes late. Glad to see the chat is alive, although the chat window is not. Try that again. Turn it on. It should appear now, hopefully. <clears throat> yes, okay, there it is. <laughs> My bad. We had an error the last time and uh, forgot to turn it back on. Thank you for joining. And who's the first one? Of course, it's Scotsman. Who else? Thank you, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, I was a bit preoccupied watching too many YouTube vids. Flight Sim 2020 hype. <laughs> Patrick, thanks for joining. Hey, HUD. Enjoying the holiday so far? It is a holiday right now here in Singapore. Actually, Mrs. Clumsy is right behind me. I'm not sure if you can see her. There's her hand. <laughs> She's playing Animal Crossing. Uh, so yes, we are enjoying the holiday. <clears throat> And uh, it's a chill Friday. Who do we have in chat? Uh, Scripts, glad you made it, man. Very early as well. Hey, Space Hunter, must be pretty early there, huh? What time is it? Um, what, 5.30? Thanks for uh, waking up early. <coughs> Yar. Hey, Alex. How was hunting session? Hey, Crazy. Hey, it's been a while. Glad you made it. Gamaste, how are you doing? You guys are super early today. Or maybe I'm just super late. <laughs> Alright, let me see. I hope I didn't miss anyone. Hi, Tom. You're part of the cool cats there. Welcome back. Hey, Delta boy. If you can Englishize that. Anglicize that, maybe it's better. It would help me a lot. Hey, Froji. Hope I read that correctly and glad you could join. Is this your first time joining the stream? Stop the <laughs> startup. Here we are. Hey Thor. How's everyone? Windsor, welcome to the stream. Hey Skyr. Welcome back. Rohan made it as well. Yeah. That's part of the FS hype club. Nice haircut. Is it noticeable? Thanks. Hey, EK. <laughs> Max skin you made to the SCS one. Oh, definitely. Yes, please do. Um, HUD will answer that for you, Tom. What holiday is it? I can not remember the exact name. <laughs> I might screw it up. Everyone is greeting Mrs. Clumsy. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> There's her hand again. Hunting was good. Catch any turkeys? You made it in time. There we go. Thanks, Delta Boy, for English. Now I can I can understand you. Hey, not to crack. Thanks for joining. So, we are trucking today. Uh, we are exploring Romania. Well, Ro X 2.7 to be more exact. And. Uh, why does it look a bit different here? Raw X 2.7 looks like a massive update. It's payware. 2.7 is payware. So the free version of Raw X is 2.3 still. But if you paid for this, if you are part of the PPM, I think he calls it, then you should have gotten the new version already. 2.7 includes a lot of rebuilds of the Black Sea areas. I think a lot of uh, rebuilt cities, changed signs, new routes. Basically, he was not happy. Arias, the, the mod author, is not was not happy with how SCS implemented uh, the Black Sea areas, particularly Romania. So uh, it looks like he's been uh, overhauling those. Now, I'm not very familiar with the play, so I didn't really notice the bad things that SCS did. But we'll try explore it together, and uh, yeah, you guys let me know if you spot something, okay? Let's load up the game, and I will catch up with chat in a bit. Um, load that up, like so. <laughs> 2 a.m., yikes. <clears throat> Can barely wake up for 8 a.m. streams. <laughs> I woke up 
uh, not too late today, 6 a.m. But I have been stuck in the bed catching up on flight sim videos. <laughs> Want it in metallic? Um, hmm. I'm not sure. Whichever you think would be fitting better, I'm happy to try it out. <clears throat> there we go, we have own music. Um, so you see my screen, that's good. I'm not going to I'm not going to remove my face in the chat anymore because I'm lazy. I'm just going to focus on this lower part here but we have I'm using project next gen for graphics some of you guys might like that some of you might not but we're sticking with that I would have wanted JBX but um, there is a conflict with my truck I think I have to play with the load order a bit and I'm too lazy to alter and tweak all those settings um, the JBX conflicts a bit with the DAF XF that's the truck we're going with DAF XF by Vadik that is my favorite DAF XF and we have an audio from RJ Productions where he basically remixes, gets the raw sound files from EVR, remixes them and it's a much better result now that and uh, compatible with FMOD. Three versions sounds good to me, crazy. Thanks. Um, it's you, Freddy. Did the stupid thing and changed the nick. Ah! <laughs> I'll try to remember one nut to crack. Okay. Welcome back, Freddy. Hey, play trips. Idil Adha. There we go. Yes, I'm also not sure. I'm I'm sure it's a, it's a Muslim holiday. But I'm not sure what it is for exactly. But some of our Muslim friends would probably know better. 6 a.m. not too late. Normally I should wake up at 5. My alarm is set at 5. Just so I can get my ha a handle on things, but oftentimes I don't wake up at 5 anymore. <laughs> Sometimes sleep at 4 or 5 a.m. When you grow older, it becomes more natural to you. Ask Alex. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, certain conditions that affect uh, that for me. <laughs> Sorry, did I name someone? Maybe not. Check out promos today. <laughs> Kidding. So it, there it is, Raw X. Um, Raw X 2.7. <clears throat> no, he's not old. He's just mature. <laughs> Good thing I can't remember what you said. Uh, we have Real Company mod from Shumi here. This is version 1.1, compatible with 1.38. This is the best real company mod that I've seen that is compatible with the recent version no complaints there at all we have pro mods in here but it's not active <laughs> as you can imagine they're not compatible for 138 we have updated rust map version uh, but all of those are in the mods list southern region is still 8.0 I had an option of enabling Project Turkey. I tried it for a bit. That's the new YKS RSK thingy. Uh, that's being handled by Affluence. Although I turned it off in the meantime. Um, because I think it's still a bit... Like there are areas which are already rebuilt. But there are still some old areas. At least that's what I know. So it's a bit like coast to coast where the, the entire Turkey is there. But the areas are being fleshed out bit by bit. And I'm not really a fan of that approach. I would rather get a small area that is completely built so that I am not at risk of driving into some unpolished areas. So I, I'll, I think I'll wait for it to get polished more and then I'll get into it. I'll enable it. But uh, yeah, so I, 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 I'm not the perfect combo for me, the coast to coast approach. The quantity then quality. Indeed. Okay, I think we're good there. Let us proceed. Load it up. Try and end catch up. Why do I wake up at 5 a.m.? Well, it's... I don't know. I've always been a morning person. 
but also I guess related to Mrs. Clumsy's work. She goes to work early normally during the time when we still went to the office. Um, and we got used to waking up early then and I've been really enjoying that because I could do I could do so much and uh, I can get ahead of things I really like I really like that habit but yeah, as I mentioned as you grow older that becomes more natural <laughs> not going to name names this time just for me <laughs> there's the truck that XF105 by Vadik let's go and hear it Mm, where am I currently? I think we are in Ukraine at the moment. In Odessa. This is one of the rebuilt cities as part of Rox 2.7. There's actually a silent trucking episode coming out in a bit. Um, uh, it goes from Bucharest to Odessa, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this, this, this uh, road here is where we go. So today, we go the other way, I guess. And we try to explore row X 2.7 areas. Okay. His voice sounds pretty young on the Discord. Old and a half. <laughs> That's his uh, youthful predisposition. So we have Project Next Gen here. I do like the sky. I like the look of it. I don't know. I think Project Next Gen is still the most natural look for me. JBX is very artsy, very photogenic. But in some cases, it can be a bit like Instagram filter-ish. The truck and the sounds. Show me real company mode is the best. I agree. Thanks for the bits, Rohan. My favorite in this sound mod is the low rev sound. When we start the truck, it's like it, it's at risk of um, dying out on us. Hear this one. And when you're doing reverse, like it's like one step away from stalling. Is that the right term? Too much flight sim maybe. So Odessa, the city has been rebuilt. There are so many details now. It feels like a proper city. In some areas, it feels like it feels very European. Like reminds me of when we were in Warsaw. Some of the roads are very have that same vibe. It is quite laggy. You can probably feel the frames. But it does look good. Let's go and sleep for now. And then we'll find a job afterwards. Let's explore that one. There you go, that one. No, 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 no. We go through here. There you go. Wake up early on Wednesday and Friday. <laughs> Thanks for the effort, man. Take a pic of your beard and put it in Discord. Let's do it. <laughs> the age challenge. Language shenanigans. Oh yes, that is more than welcome. Ukraine is an interesting country even though it's Ukraine. Eastern half is actually Russian speaking. Ah. Um, what was it? I, I, I had a colleague before from Ukraine. And I think the language has a lot of similarities with Polish. Because he could understand mostly what the Polish folks were saying. Like we met up in Warsaw and he was living there now. But yeah, he said he could more or less communicate because there are a lot of similar words. Yeah, look at this. Look at this city vibe, right? Very nice. And this is at night. How much more in daytime? It's like the ray tracing doesn't detect the skybox. Didn't work on ATS. Reshade ray tracing. Ah, I see. Yeah, I've heard about that from Cascade. I have not tried it myself though. And 
engine limitations maybe so many technical things about reshade yeah quite interesting also what uh, HUD is mentioning trying to get I'm trying to understand it better oh this one also you know that the feature that I really liked in the Romania map in the standalone Romania map Arias implemented it as well I think the original concept from this was from Todor Alin look at that the car stopping when someone's crossing the road isn't that neat that is so cool yeah so he implemented that now that's part of the changes in row x now there is no entrance from this side i might have to make a u-turn through here well thankfully there is a roundabout so let's just, just go around that ukrainian is very similar to polish there are many ukrainians to, in poland and don't bother to learn the language ah makes sense now yeah i think he cannot speak it so much but he can definitely understand what the polish locals were saying yeah i heard that from the cascade well i heard that he was trying it i didn't uh, get any feedback on results yet if it worked Was that a nice roundabout driving or what? <laughs> I was surprised myself it was smooth. <laughs> Maybe because there's no trailer yet. Red car doing right lane to left lane. Oh, that, that typical switching lane behavior from the AI. Yeah, that does still happen. SES hasn't quite fixed it yet. I missed somebody. Hey Plum! Wow, glad you made it. It's late, huh? Glad you made it to the stream. Are you still watching flights and videos? <laughs> Plum is the current president of the FS2020 Hype Club. I am only the, the VP. <laughs> <clears throat> Who's leaving? Uh, did I catch it? No. One thirty. Yikes! All right. So where do we go? Um, that's a good question. Because I know that the rebuilt areas are Odessa and uh, somewhere in Ukraine as well, Mukachevo, I think probably butchering that pronunciation but I would like to go back to to Romania to focus on those roads maybe we start with this one the shortest one just to see so we'll drive a bit over Ukraine but we are going to cross over to Romania maybe at the last moment there ah crazy all right have a good one there we go I caught up with the chat a bit That, there you go. Hear that low rumble? Like the engine is about to die on us. Really like that sound. Very low bassy growl from the engine. And there's the classic Project Next Gen lighting. Getting a bit dark inside the cabin. But I kind of like it actually. It looks so real for me. Um, and of course there is nothing here, so we'll have to turn right here. But yeah, this looks like a proper city, huh? Amazing work by Arias. And there you go again. That, uh, I think it's the same lady crossing. <laughs> she does it just to test the feature. Keeps crossing back and forth. Beautiful. That was accurate. Oh, I got lucky. Pronunciation, Mukachevo. That's a lot of kilometers driven with the truck. Is it? Where is it? 47? That's not bad, actually. I wonder how I got there. I mean, this is not a brand new truck. Maybe this was the one I've been driving with since I tried out Vadik's staff the first time. <clears throat> Uh, 
It was nice but if you're going all the way around you should indicate to the left. I think that depends on the country. If I remember correctly, if you do that in Germany, you'll be given a ticket if you indicate left in a roundabout. But in the UK, yes, I think you should need to do that. Well, if you're going right in the UK. So I never know which is which, depending on the country. So I just don't do it. Let's go and pass through here. Does the workplace have many Singaporeans then? There are a lot. Um, I'm not sure about the actual proportion, but personally, I don't really work with anyone from Singapore in my company. I have a client who is here, but those from the same company, the only one I work with is my manager <laughs> who is from here. But the people I work with, uh, mostly from uh, Germany and Philippines and some from India, Poland, We have someone from the US. I think we have someone from Canada. With my team specifically. But I know that there are a lot of um, locals as well. <coughs> With local clients. You've always been able to play ETS2 or one of the other games while streaming full screen to which or YouTube. Uh, Playback stops or lags like crazy as soon as you start any of your games. So you play and then at the same time you're watching something on the another screen. How, how do your monitors look like? How are they set up? Do you have the same brand, same model, same refresh rate? Because refresh rate difference is one of the causes for that. I actually get that problem a lot because my main monitor is 144 hertz and my side monitors are 60 hertz so I, I almost always have that problem it's a windows 10 limitation well windows limitation thanks Rohan and Alex for answering for OG yeah very diverse culture and this is also why I still have a hard time understanding like people from here, Singaporeans who have strong accents. Normally, the older people have stronger accents, right? So I, I still have a hard time understanding them because I don't really work with anyone directly from here. <clears throat> like if it's the if it's the younger generation, I can understand them fine. They have um, less thick accent, but the older ones, yeah, I still have to nudge mrs clumsy always like what did they say <laughs> she takes care of the translation for me let's do that use plastics um that looks good chronobox liner okay and i think there we are finally caught up with chat sorry for the delay guys i am with you now fully so, what have you guys been up to? If I missed some messages, feel free to just type them again. <clears throat> Anyone familiar with this company? That should be a real one from Shumi, I guess. That's true. I can only understand if you guys speak English. But uh, if you speak the, the actual Singlish to each other, I probably won't get you. Maybe one word, at most. <laughs> so I, I need, I need the, how do you say, the formal English to understand it. You've been watching those flight sim videos over and over. Same here, same here. I've been trying to really absorb as much as I can. Unfortunately, there has been a lot of videos that are not um, the best quality, you know, like um, leaves a lot to be desired in terms of like the person knowing a lot about uh, aviation, like sometimes they're just fumbling about and it's a bit frustrating if you know what should be happening. 
but there are some who know their stuff and uh, I definitely appreciated that video from Squirrel even though he didn't show the actual flight the insights he's given gives me a lot of confidence in how flight sim can meet our expectations so it's very promising And yes, I'm going to continue looking for all of those new videos coming up. I heard from, who was it? I think it was Quill. Okay, here I think we are crossing over from Ukraine to Moldova, is that one? That's like Romania, but put with the emblem in the middle. And then here from Moldova to Romania on this border. Looks like two border crossings. Looks fine. And then we pass through here. Unlock some discoverables and arrive in. Oh my goodness, I should have studied up on my Romanian pronunciation. Bacau? Basau? Sorry. <laughs> I guess it depends a lot which local rules you're following in language. <clears throat> one is an, a 48 inch TV, and one another one is a brand. Another brand computer screen. We've used this setup for. If you try to go hmm, full screen or maybe untick it, work with full screen in your game, maybe that will help. But yeah, it's from what I've read, it's maybe a Windows issue or maybe your GPU is just getting taxed. So your GPU is uh, maxing out, so it's, it's prioritizing the game and your, the stream is lagging as a result. That could also be a, a, a cause. August 18 is uh, when FS2020 will be released on, and it will be available on Steam as well. Glad I didn't pre-purchase yet, because I would rather have it on Steam. <clears throat> yeah great video from squirrel amazing very cinematic very dramatic very informative and very entertaining <clears throat> if you want to really get a grasp on the actual gameplay though the actual like how the menu looks how you go around pick a flight how you pick a plane how it starts up i highly recommend quill's um, mini series on it I think it's been posted in the Discord as well because that one really shows like what the map looks like, how you start, how you pick airports, how you plan a flight plan, all those stuff. And I am speeding? Oh, I didn't even notice. There you go. Romanian pronunciation is also impossible for you. <laughs> Yeah, about the embargo, I'm also not so sure. I don't think so. Because from... I'm, I'm watching Quill's videos, Quill18. He's a very prominent YouTuber, but he focuses a lot on strategy games. So I was actually surprised that he was into flight sim as well. But he knows a lot. Like, he knows the terminologies, he knows how to fly. So this is not his first rodeo, it seems. But he was sharing that... I think the way the NDA works they were given uh, a window where they could record stuff and then they can release that but I think after that window they lose access so I think if I understand correctly right now they don't have access to the sim anymore and uh, maybe it will just come back again during the actual release day but um, I'm not so sure so we'll see how that works hey Sonoma have you been splurging on flight sim videos as well? All over YouTube now? Or are you still stuck in snow? <laughs> Come on, border check. If the embargo has been lifted, assume Squirrel will stream it tomorrow. That's true, yeah. I have my doubts if Quill, uh, if what Quill said uh, makes any, has any truth to it, then maybe they lost access. And the NDA is fully in effect again. I think you can turn off the light now. You know, I never know which countries require you to have the lights the entire day. So just keep them on. And forget about it. 
and especially with project next gen where things can get a bit too dark at times depending on how bright the sky is um, let's look for ai if they are going to have their lights on and no i did not forget about the bridge we have to have our bridge shot yeah it, it seems like they don't have access anymore again but we'll see so a lot of these videos maybe they have like pre-recorded all this stuff but not too far away because squirrel's video already features track ir in there and that one has just released a couple of days back so i don't think it's that advanced sec in singapore daytime running lights isn't a thing oh isn't it I see it in a lot of cars, but that might be more of a luxury than an actual law that needs to be implemented or that, that needs to be followed, huh? Um, something like that could work for me. Nice. Massive waste of electricity. Oh, that's true. You've been watching a few flight sim videos. <clears throat> Any opinions? I can nitpick a lot of stuff for sure, but I'm overall very, very happy with how things are working. Why do we have two here? I guess the one here on the right is for trucks. For the VIPs. Why do they have steel beams on the bridge? But it looks like it doesn't hold the bridge up. I don't know. Physics. Maybe it distributes the weight somehow. Or maybe it's just not implemented correctly in here. If Microsoft made a truck sim game. Yeah, I talked about it in the Q&A. I wish there would be some kind of procedural generation as well in the trucking department. So they can make maps faster. But actually, Bengan told me, he commented, Bengan J, the author of the world uh, background maps and all the other tweaks we are using. Like NVIDIA Profile Inspector very prominent member of the trucking community um, he told me that SES is actually using some kind of procedural generation already when it comes to vegetation I think and I think that's true because I remember Max from SES he was saying something along those lines remember when we were in ATS beta and there was an update where a lot of bushes came out and uh, there were like bushes on the road he said it was because of some bug in the procedural generation for bushes. So I think it's there already. So maybe there is some level of automation in there. And that's good. They're thinking about that. So it's, um, it's faster than hand crafting everything. This way, the base can be automated and then they can just fine tune it so it looks more realistic. Welcome to Moldova, here we are. But yeah, everything here is so nice. Like, if I read through the change log here for 2.7, um, where was it? Changed vegetation, roads, intersections, sidewalks in 90, 90% of the map, except the newer parts, it says here. So I think he updated everything basically and uh, put the newest textures in there from the recent dlcs i guess so <laughs> it seems like he went through a lot of work there really just from that update alone you can imagine the amount of workload that is but that's just one line item and we'll go through those as we pass through here as we explore the areas again Let's take a photo there because that looks like a fantastic bridge and the water effects from Project Next Gen are highlighted very well here. Oh my goodness. That reminds me of Flight Sim 2020 again. Those clouds. There we are. Hmm, no rule of thirds here. Maybe that can work though. Sorry, give me a second. All right, I'm with you. Still haven't seen how technical the aircraft airs are to fly. 
how are the cockpit switches yeah same here um, I think on a basic level they're there they're not going to be arcadey because there's even like checklists for them like for the basic planes like a Cessna 152 there's like the parking brake the carb heat the mixture so those are all there and they're, they're part of the checklist um, but like the actual avionic systems like if a plane has a G1000 are all the G1000 features there like I don't know putting custom waypoints um, SIDs and stars uh, OBS mode you know things like this I have not seen that level yet although it seems to be functional to a point I started watching Quill's video on he made an IFR flight and he was setting up the G1000 a bit so he was setting it to nav mode he was changing the CDI um, things like this changing the heading altitude so it seems to be working at that level just not sure how much like if VNAV is properly implemented things like this but I'm very hopeful it would be interesting to see how those exact systems work on the airliners because those are the heavy ones like I, I keep mentioning I doubt they will be able to fully implement those like through like too so close to the real thing I'm guessing there is a bit of detail that will be left out and it will be up to the third party developers to fill it up fill it out fill it up but um, it has been super promising so far so we'll see maybe even that level they can implement this is a map mod there you go Romania extended 2.7 I mean everything is looking amazing this is and I, I say this in the highest praise this is like SCS level for me like how all of these um, elements just blend together the simple things railings signs lampposts electric uh, fences and everything just blends together you know. did you hear the engine <laughs> like it died for a second and went back up like I released the clutch a bit too much although I am driving automatic here yeah, look at how good that looks man no wonder Arias has been busy he's been cooking up some huge things here the FSG map yeah France Switzerland Germany right I haven't actually checked that out yet I'm not sure how far along they are in the development but I will definitely check it out eventually when I guess the, the, the size gets bigger. Iberia? No, no news yet. They did tease something about it, something about energy generation. Looks like we will be able to haul in solar panels, uh, wind turbine parts and stuff like that to cater to the energy industry so that's good news <clears throat> yes definitely would do MP on FS2020 we can all fly together when it's out and I am planning to go VATSIM uh, after some time because as the, the, the built-in ATC I've been watching videos on it it looks good it looks um, good as a starting point but I noticed a couple of like gripes on it like I don't know basic things not really game breaking but they all add or detract from the immersion things like the altimeter setting not being QNH even when you're in the UK or uh, the the phraseology that they use like they use decimal instead of point everywhere or uh, things like um, the pilot setting ready for takeoff when you shouldn't say takeoff when you're a pilot well when you're announcing your readiness to tower you know things like that so but overall I think it's a great implementation of ATC like it I think it's better than pilot to ATC so far in some aspects I'm not sure yet about the details though but it would be with this kind of immersion with the real uh, 
surroundings everywhere. I think working with real people as air traffic controllers would be perfect as well. So I think I will do my best to overcome my, what do, you, what do they call it? Mic fright? Radio fright? And work with real people to have a fully immersive experience from end to end. <clears throat> we'll see. Taking them forever. Yeah, Iberia seems to be taking a lot of time. I can imagine there are so many details in there. Uh, and they, they, they should have a dedicated team for it. So I guess saying they have been working on um, Idaho and Colorado is not a valid reason because there should be separate teams working on those. So I think it's just really taking a lot of time with everything they have to put in. Engine sound is crisp. Yeah, RJ Productions really did a good job on here. Modifying EVR sounds, remixing them for F mod. VATSIM is supported. I don't think it's included, but it will be supported. So as of release day, VATSIM will be in there. You can, I guess, download a plugin to connect Flight Sim 2020 with the VATSIM servers and you're set that's my expectation because that's the way it's been for all other flight sims you need like this connector application to connect the sim you're in to the VATSIM servers where will SCS go after Iberia? you know what? that's a very good question I have not heard any other T's aside from Iberia when it comes to ETS2 does anyone know? Has anyone heard where they plan to go to next? They start doing a higher scale map. Yeah, um, hmm, I have my doubts on that one. Because the, that would mean it would not be compatible with the rest of the map they have if they make a different scaled map. So I think they will either rework the old areas put in a new area somewhere maybe russia i don't know maybe ireland no clue but i think they will keep the same scale otherwise they would have to start from scratch although i definitely see the appeal of a higher scale map driving through those one is the one maps is very immersive you see all the details And we are now in Romania, I think. Yeah. So maybe you can help me out here, guys. I'm trying to understand. Maybe you can interpret this. The change log is... Change log has a lot of items that I don't get. Um, I'm not sure exactly where they are. So it says here about signs it says um, change wait new navigation signs in 90% of the map bilingual signs so <clears throat> what do you take from that what I take from that is when I look at the sign there should be two versions of it like what we saw in Corsica uh, French in a Corsican uh, version like for example this one I don't see it so I'm not sure where I should expect it <clears throat> gladly pay for SES to continue reworking old countries same here if they like made a DLC to rework UK or rework uh, Belgium or the Netherlands I'd happily pay for that I can imagine a lot of complaints coming in because people would have expected that to be free because that's the way it's been for Germany, for example. But personally, I would gladly pay it for a faster turnaround time. By whatever they put out. Same here. Yeah. I will probably complain in some aspects, but overall, I will still like it. 
because yeah SES has earned my trust in that regard of course there will be room for improvement there will be imperfections but for me overall SES is doing a fantastic job listening to the community working with us and although they cannot fulfill each and every request we have well come, they, they come very close to it and they're continuously trying they're not like they don't give the impression at all that they're just hogging for money right they're like doing this as a service to the it, it feels like at least that they're doing this as a service to the community to their fans which is uh, which are us and like the money is just an afterthought at least that's how it feels and that's great feeling as a customer you don't feel like you're being asked for money without anything in return now transport yourself to the living room to eat breakfast while watching the stream enjoy man we're having mcriddles i blame you now my mind is filled with mcriddles i even shared it with mrs clumsy we'll see if we get one over the weekend coca-cola company nice i wonder which company that replaced speaking of mcdonald's there you go <laughs> Ooh, nice signage custom built looks like huh cool stuff wonder if that's new you would love england scotland ireland dlc oh yes that is very true yeah without pro mods i would not go there at all the roads are just super bad they're very basic you can really feel the age with project next gen textures that might be mitigated somewhat but the road network is really bad there nasilemak nice mcriddles maybe tomorrow <laughs> Maybe same for us, we'll see. But right now, we just had coffee. Driving on the left. Yeah, UK would be great. I vote for that as well. Although if they're going to continue with new areas, where do you think they can still go? They can go to the east. Maybe. Like what Raw X currently has. Arias might not be happy with that. <laughs> Or could they go north? Is there an option to go north? Like um, other parts of Norway and Sweden and Finland. Would that be a lot of driving like in terms of kilometers? Or is that going to be limited if they go north that way? Hey Slider! Thanks for making it to the stream. How have you been? Been trucking anywhere recently? Yes, thanks for remembering. <laughs> I'm remembering telling those McGriddle stories. Yeah, that was our weekend uh, Saturday cheat day breakfast. Wish they come to Asia someday, but I wonder how AI traffic will behave. <laughs> that might be tricky. Yeah. in the first stream he came on too I mentioned McRiddles already <laughs> nice well, thanks for letting me know northern Scandinavia yeah I was thinking about that because pro mods does have those areas right they could also go to Russia that's true hey NL how are you man I like the trams here. Not a lot of kilometers, but it will be nice because lots of windy mountain roads would be a good DLC. So they can focus on the scenery, huh? Sounds good to me. Finished some pro mods Middle East. Nice. Does that mean you're staying in 137 then? 
guess so, huh? I'm still a bit weirded out when there are trams in the picture. I kind of get confused where I should place myself. Should I treat them like just as a car, as a normal car and like give the proper, the same allowance? Or should I treat them as a train and stay away from the rails that they are driving on? <clears throat> Very few Asian countries follow any traffic rules like Westerners. <laughs> Is that from experience, I guess? Speaking from experience. Pro mods Iceland. They can add Iceland, that's true. Well, Iceland is getting a revamp, I think. If I remember correctly, in Pro mods 2.50. So that might be something to look forward to, if I remember it right. Hey, Pokemon! Happy holiday. Glad you made it. <laughs> How are you? It is RJ Productions. He remixed the sounds, but yes, the default sounds are coming from EVR. I think he remixed them much better though, because during this time, when EVR released this, this was still free. His DAF XF105 sounds. And... Uh, I would say the quality is very far from where he is now from the amazing quality that EVR has now in his sounds the DAF are not or were not at that level yet so this remixing from RJ Productions is very welcome indeed Ten years of driving experience, IRL. <laughs> I heard that in Egypt, it's the same. We had uh, I, I worked with a colleague, colleague um, from Cairo, and they were mentioning the driving there is intense. Like where there's a space, a car would try to fit in through. And even though that it's not necessarily a road, like if there's a sidewalk here and it's like traffic, they would take the sidewalk and uh, go where they needed to go. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a bit of a free for all. <clears throat> so okay, I guess that can be true in other countries as well. Exactly, exam is finished as well. Great. Well, glad you made it to the stream. Enjoy the holiday. This DAF company is still old, isn't it? Or is that the new one already? And why did I not discover it? Might have to go inside. I think this is what Alex was mentioning. Like with the update, sometimes you have to go inside to discover it. Like a long tr wrong trigger point or something. Results remain to be seen. Good luck. Hope it turns out great. Promont's got a new dev for Iceland. Ah, there you go. That's the one I saw in the blog a few weeks back. Um, th these sounds, Pokemon? No, they're free. They're free. So EVR's DAF XF105 are free. And RJ Productions uh, rendition of them are free as well so it should be in the mods list bottom row under the audio section there you go thanks alex oh wow even got the line number in there my goodness <laughs> thanks man trying to catch up mentality of always going first in traffic than the rest of the people yeah I'm not sure how to develop that actually um, how, how to develop that um, 
civil behavior uh, how do you proper ethics proper driving ethics maybe I don't know how to develop that in countries <clears throat> because I try to do that when I'm driving back in Manila I end up just getting overtaken by everybody <laughs> because <laughs> everyone is driving fiercely cutting in left and right and I'm driving here like a civilized guy trying to give way and uh, follow the rules properly and then end up being uh, yeah overtaken by everyone last one out so proper driving doesn't get you anywhere fast in Manila at least oh I like this junction I don't know why just feels so unique <clears throat> Cars versus pedestrians, cars will always win. <laughs> yes, that's the one I'm familiar with still. In Singapore, you have that a bit 50-50, right? Like they give way to pedestrians, but um, they're like one step away from not doing so. Like they begrudgingly give way. So it's still not out of courtesy, but out of following the rule, more like. Not like in the US or in some European countries that I've been to. Where they really stop. The video you linked in the mods list for this sound is private. Ah, yes, yes. Um, that will become available later. Thanks for... Uh, uh, Noticing. So that is actually the silent trucking for later. It will release 7 p.m. my time, the usual schedule. But at this point, it's still not accessible to everyone. That should hopefully yeah, automatically become available later. So right now, it's a bit of a teaser. <laughs> um. Let me see if you get enough time to, to play. Do you, do you guys have school? I never can keep track of school period. Like I've been here for years, but I can never remember when are the holidays for school and when is the actual school season. This map looks really well done. I can only second that. Arias has been doing a lot of work here. Like now? with all the changes that have been done because before I remember there were some dated areas so you could feel like the the age of some of the areas because they were developed early on but now I think I can happily just truck anywhere take wherever the job takes me and I'm sure that I will get a scenic view a very nice experience a very realistic scenery like what we're seeing right now. The school zone it's 50-50. Some people do, some people don't. Everywhere else generally people don't really stop unless someone is already crossing. That's true, yeah. Thankfully for me, I grew up in the Philippines so I'm very much used to that kind of behavior. All the cars just go, go, and then I go after you. I cross after you're all gone. And that that be that habit from me actually gets me in trouble a lot in the US or in Europe because I stop for them and they stop for me and we both stop and they end up getting ticked off with me because why wouldn't you cross <laughs> and for me I, I say the same thing to them yeah um, not very compatible in those areas so we end up taking more time Pokemon is also from here. <clears throat> I think you guys met already before in one of the streams, I remember. And I remember because we don't have many locals here in the stream. So I, that, uh, despite the goldfish memory, that part is very um, 
apparently. Nice church model there. When do you decide when you let people play with you in chat like in Stowrunner or building? You know what, that's a good question. Not really a clear cut thing there but normally for subs I, I do that and for the regulars that's like the blanket rule. Like before it was for patrons and subs only and recently with farm sim for example we changed that we allowed also the regulars to join us and regulars is a very subjective term there's no clear criteria for it but if you've been with us we know you're a good guy you won't be trolling and we're happy to have you around like i think we could i mean technically now you're a patron but even without i think we could easily i think everyone would agree <laughs> call you a regular already More number of motorcycles on the road than cars. Competitions always between car and motorcycle. Who wins then? The pedestrians try to walk their way out on their own. <laughs> Everyone has their own way. <laughs> Sounds familiar to me. Six, 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 six. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think I'll hit this guy. No, he can make it. I'm just turn sharp here. Like so. Hear that sound? I love it. At the brink of cutting off on us. Straighten it out a bit. Second one should be. I'm free. And then I'll try and catch up with chat afterwards. Looking good. Good warm up drive. I will always close the engine. A bit too premature. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you remember? He lets me play MP out of pity. <laughs> it's deference to elders. <clears throat> yeah, definitely had. Right, let's look. What else can we get from here? Yikes, of course, nowhere where we want to. So we scratch that and we look at the freight market instead. <laughs> Thanks, Hud. Yeah, appreciate it. Very nice gesture. Oh, we only have those two jobs. Why? Why are you doing this? You might have to fly. Um, I do want to go to Mukachevo see the remake there or we can go to uh, for any locals here pardon the pronunciation i have no chance of getting this right brasov brasov because there's a new road here and arias has been a bit sneaky because he, he mentioned a new route like he's saying there's a new romania route from oradea outskirts to deva but i've been looking and there is no Oradea or Deva in the map in the in-game map so I had to go to Google Maps look where the heck is Oradea in real life in Deva and then I saw ah okay so Oradea if I remember correctly should be I think somewhere here and Deva I think is somewhere oh, if I remember correctly I think above Honeduara so I think this one is Deva so, which basically means this is the new route, something like that, E79. And Brad is a new city. That one at least is uh, mentioned exactly. And Sibiu is a new one as well. And then there's new one from Sebes to Brasov. I'm going to say Brasov, okay, just for simplicity. And I think that is this one. I think this is Sebes. 
and this is Prasov. So this is the new route. <laughs> so it's like, if you're not from here, you'd have to do a bit of research to know what those roads are. Very sneaky. Fuel economy 33. Wow, nice. Give it a thumbs up for from Scotsman. Free for all happens a lot in Asia. <clears throat> Get a game with the stream running in the background. All right, enjoy, man. Drop by from time to time to let us know how it goes. Have a fun time. <laughs> Good thing that we have no, don't have locals here. I can easily get away with anything I pronounce. So, I do want to start in Brasso, maybe. And maybe we can make our way west, northwest, passing through those new routes. That might be something we can try at the very least. That might actually work. Going to Poland from Brasov, that would allow us to go through some of these even if it's a bit long-winded. That can actually work. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's the best one we can have. So let's do that. It's urgent though. But I do have that mod that doubles the time it takes, the deadline. So that should help a bit. Why is that so far away? Oh yeah, okay. Since you turned 16 earlier this year, qualified for your own debit card. Nice. Yeah, that's very liberating once you get your own card. It can be very dangerous though, so thankfully you have a debit, not credit card. <laughs> That can be an easy money pit otherwise. Free money! Cha-ching! Just swipe wherever. I'm wondering how it is in like a Singaporean family, like the culture. Would you say, Had, that uh, you have like a... The culture in your family is very Singaporean? Because I'm wondering how like how you guys if you guys talk about money and all those things. Because like in a fil in a normal Filipino culture, we don't really talk about money. It's like there is even a, a saying, uh, like when you're eating together, like dinner or lunch, the family's together eating. Don't talk about money. We're eating. Like it's like a bad thing, you know. It's it's like a common Filipino culture. But like if it, if you're Filipino Chinese, it's the opposite because Chi Filipino Chinese are like very business minded, very so everything is like okay topic. So I think very different cultures there. I'm wondering how it is in a in a in a, in a Singaporean family. <clears throat> hey Azo, thank you for joining. How have you been? Cheating. <laughs> You may be getting a 2 terabyte HDD soon. Enjoy. I bet all the train routes you can get from there, huh? I'm thinking, I'm looking for a Romanian trailer. Not sure if I can get any of those. I think we'll just settle with a clumsy trucking trailer. I think that, that guy, that can fit. Yeah, I'll have to live with it. <clears throat> Money is also a taboo topic. Okay, so it's a normal thing still. Yeah, hopefully we change that in the future. But because of that, I had no idea how to handle my money. <laughs> Until I got to my 30s. Although my parents did teach me to save, but they think that's the extent of it. But that's a very good starting point, I guess. <clears throat> um. <laughs> Who's cheating? No one's cheating. New version of Paz mod should be out tomorrow. Oh, rework of Ehrenberg area. 
Nice. I saw there was also an update to minor urban overhaul, but I am not sure if it works with the reforma maps yet. And nowadays, reforma maps take a priority for me. By the way, speaking of reforma, did you get that update from for those for those who are patrons of Eblem? Of Team Reforma? Did you get that note from Eblem? He said he will not be able to come up with any updates in August, I think. But he's such a nice guy, I think he's holding off, he's postponing the payments for patron. Normally you give a, a monthly contribution when you're a patron. But he said because he won't be releasing anything in August, he will be he will not be deducting anything. Like he's suspending the patron payments from us. And that's such a nice gesture. I mean for me, I would happily have continued to pay it because that I'm supporting him. I'm not really expecting monthly updates from him, but I'm just expecting him to continuously develop. But yeah. It's such a nice gesture. Hey Jordi. Thanks for joining. Hope you find the mods list useful. Let us know if you have questions. That's what they say about Malaysian Chinese. Since they're a minority, they're very business minded. Yeah, I guess the Chinese culture has that um, mindset as well, you know, making something of your own. They have that mindset of it's better to have something smaller but something that's really my own. And then they make it, they develop that from scratch and then continue passing it on the family. It's a great mindset to have, part of the legacy. Hey Theo, how do you have so much money? Oh, I don't know. Driving for many years now. <laughs> Not sure if some part of that was cheated, but at this point, yeah, money is no longer a factor. Welcome to the stream. ATS needs a major urban overhaul. Oh yeah, definitely. The interstates don't feel like interstates at all in some areas. Feel more like country roads. San Francisco looks super dated. That's true. Hey, thanks for following you. Appreciate it. Hope you are enjoying your time here. Hey, look. Welcome to the stream. This is Staff XF by Vedic should be in the mods list as well bottom of the trucks section yeah same here i will continue to support eblem team reforma they're amazing guys we need more people like those does great content has very professional ethics because there are some, I think, that are great. They do great work, but they're a bit toxic. I won't name names, but you might. Some names might come to the forefront. And I'm, I have doubts. I have reservations about supporting those kind of people. Like I like the content, but I don't like the attitude. And uh, if my wallet has any say over it i would rather support those who are very courteous and promote a very collaborative and very uh, yeah, I know, so uh, accommodating environment i use a g27 yes oh, i didn't know there was an exclamation point wheel when you type that message alex replies to you with the wheel i use <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Appreciate it, man. Glad you're here. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have been swamped way, way back. Reforma will get there eventually once they finish Chihuahua. Uh, what I'm looking forward to from Team Reforma is them connecting Chihuahua with Texas or 
to Texas, Arizona. Yeah, th that part basically, connecting more parts of Mexico and the US so that we get more entry points. It becomes a bit more fluid transition. San Francisco in Northern California area is going to be reworked by the Reforma team. I'm really looking forward to that. Portland needs a rework too. See more rather than I-5 and I-405. Oh, even Portland needs a rework? I see. I thought that was very detailed. I remember liking all those bridges. Isn't that the city with the, they call it cable car? I think. <clears throat> One sec. Did I just forget? Yes. <laughs> I was too busy. We actually didn't go through the new road. Does that mean we have to go back? I might have to cheat this a bit, guys. Because I got too con fused this should be where our path is so let's reroute with idaho you learn to drive slow and relax we always play this game rushing to the speed limit yeah once you get familiar with that kind of attitude the game just opens up to you you unlock so much because that is what the game is all about Taking your time and enjoying every bit of scenery. Like what we're doing. So this is all intentional. <laughs> so let's start from here. Discover this one. And then let's reroute. There we go. That's the new route. Um, but this one would be the new route as well. That would take us past Mukachevo, which has been rebuilt. I would expect the same level of detail from Odessa. Like what we've seen in Odessa, that's perfect. Yeah, this route is the new one. Okay, awesome. This map is compatible with Pro Mods. It will be, but Pro Mods is not out yet for 138. And this map mod, I think, is 138 only. I don't think 2.7 is compatible for 137. So promotes will have to come out first. The one that Bradley broke up with promotes a few years back. Ah, I don't. I haven't actually worked or seen those guys at work directly, so I can't say anything about them. But yeah, sad to hear that. Not a pretty split indeed. <clears throat> yeah, that was a huge loss to the community. Oh, I like the textures here. Not sure if this is because of Project Next Gen, I guess so. I like it. Feels very natural. Grass on the sides. Mountains in the distance. Trees on the farther end. Alright, Pokemon, have a good night. Catch you soon. Yeah, good morning, rather. Got used to having people from the US. <laughs> have a great holiday, man. Enjoy. That one works for me. Hey, Twi. Wicked Trucker. Thanks for joining. Indeed, this is Roex 2.7. Ultimate map package for ETS2, combining pro mods with others. I think you are looking for uh, the guy you would look for is Wombat. If you haven't seen his videos yet, he's the authority when it comes to combining maps. Ooh, taking the scenic route. Is that the castle? Let me. That is the wrong direction. But okay, at least we got the castle in there. We need to make a U-turn. Ah, because the GPS doesn't... Yeah, because the GPS is only using the legal ways of doing it. But I think we can do something a bit creative. 
That is if there's no invisible wall here, but there seems to be one. Dang it. Never mind. Okay, headed the right way now. Yeah, Wombat definitely is the authority on that. He has all the details, all the links, all the load orders. <laughs> He's not that old. <laughs> he just released a European-Asia map combo video today. Oh, again? Nice. What, what changed? I remember he released a couple, one a couple of days ago. Before Raw X 2.7 got released, I think. Yeah, I think this is only for 138. Zero F9, ultimate combo. Mods list should have those details for you. The load order is also linked there in the mods list, if I remember correctly, under the raw X item. So with raw X, you have two options: the free or paid version, 2.3 or 2.7. 2.3 is free, 2.7 is paid. But I have not, I don't have experience on 2.3 anymore. So I'm not sure if it's compatible, if the free version is 138 compatible, but I would guess so. Even old people sometimes have fast fingers. <laughs> that double roundabout layout there. Like a crooked dog bone interchange. <laughs> Why not? Very interesting layout. There we go. And one more. Sibiu. Brashov. This one, yes. Okay, so I think we are entering the new route now. If we haven't done so yet. Don't even think about pulling out. Don't, don't do it. Did we hit him? I'm not sure. Well, I think he disappeared. The white cheek. Oh, he's still there. Maybe he stopped at the last, last moment. Good. Let me see, I think I caught, I'm caught up with you guys. <laughs> Close her eyes. Was that because of the cheating incident? Yikes. Hey, thanks for following and welcome to the channel. Feel free to say hi in chat. A couple of rowdy guys here who will give you a very warm welcome if you do so. Or if you're the lurker type, feel free as well. No problems there. It's a chief. Go ahead and hit it. <laughs> Yikes. Is the Jeep a US brand? Or a European one? I think it's a US brand. Otherwise, I wouldn't be familiar with it. In the Philippines, we have what we we have jeep jeepneys actually as a mode of public transportation. So for the longest time, when I was a kid, I didn't even know that it was a brand. Uh, part of Fiat Chrysler. Ah, I see. Interesting. And yeah, so we we have what when we say jeep in the Philippines, it's uh, do I need fuel? Well, it's a bit too late now. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. This view looks so good. 
finish out there. But I think the jeep that we are referring to in the Philippines, I think, are those military jeeps from the U.S. That's why the th that's where the t term came from, and then they became like a common word instead of a proper noun. Let's do it like so. Oh yeah, that works for me. Might be the thumbnail right there. Love it. Yeah, when if before I had reservations about driving in some of the older row X areas, like I, I remember there was a time I would specifically pick the row X 2.6 areas because those areas when we drove through them they really showed a, a, another level of Arias's mapping skills and so it would highlight the difference of his older areas but now I think I would gladly go anywhere and be confident that I would get a quality map quality scenery and this is definitely what I am looking forward to so as I mentioned in the beginning of the stream this is the kind of um, approach I prefer I would rather get a small area but full of detail than a big area and then only a small part has that full detail because I would want that freedom of driving anywhere I, the, the job takes me and uh, I don't have to think about it I just know that I'm going to get a good deal a good sightseeing trip and now with this I think we have achieved that so Thank you, Arias, for the update. I can just close my eyes, take job, and uh, go anywhere. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, Blah! Finish uh, with your factory? What now? Who did we hit? I blame Blah for that. Yeah, same here. I thought Jeep was a type of vehicle. Exactly. That's my. That's the same uh, impression I had as well. Personal picture on the truck. Uh, World of Trucks. If you register there, you can upload your profile picture. Synchronize it with your in-game profile here. And then it would update your picture accordingly. Welcome to the stream, oh, by the way, Mist. Yeah, level of mapping is awesome. Arias is constantly improving. Yeah, I can honestly say I don't need to look anymore where I go. As long as it's part of this map, I'm sure I'll get a good deal. You think you can finish the job in this stream? 1268 I think it will be close but I think it will be possible depends how windy the roads will be like in front of us looks like a bit of windiness there bit of retarder work engine braking I think is necessary bus ran into your trailer <laughs> you haven't been on since you took that picture Hungarian map Hungarian map I know is standalone so probably not yeah different scale was not meant to be added to other maps why did this thing this routing take me here it's a sign I should gas up <laughs> GPS acting up probably because I guess what Arias has to do is to lower the speed limit on this gas station so that the GPS would prioritize taking that middle lane <clears throat> I 
You hate Fiat and Chrysler. <laughs> well, in your vehicle, you have the name on it. Oh. Trailer? This one? Clumsy trucking? Yeah, I made my own. I, I, I had a point. This is also available in the Steam Workshop. You can look for clumsy trucking. You can download it. And sometimes you would see some trucks on the road having the same trailer if you enable it. It's not the best quality, like if you zoom in, see a lot of pixelation there. So not the best, but I can take it. Yeah, I had a moment where I got interested in, in skinning. So I learned it. But by now, I have forgotten how already. <laughs> Goldfish memory. And I think it has changed as well with the recent versions. Thankfully, it's still working. The mod in the list. The mod in the Steam Workshop. One thirty-nine. Hmm. I'm still wishing for better anti-aliasing. So I don't need to have a separate NVIDIA profile inspector tweak but I have no clue what they have planned there is a thread in the SES forums though 139 speculation wow that's a pretty steep ramp almost smashed into it's almost smashed my front side there it's Kimpy here There's a 139 speculation thread in the SES forums where a lot of the veterans chime in and uh, predict what, the, what will be included. That setup. Oh, you mean in uh, Satisfactory? Yeah, thanks. I have not been able to get into Satisfactory again after that last time because I have been catching up on flight sim. <laughs> I need to really up my flying skills. And now with the new rudder pedals, I need to practice with it because it feels so different. By the way, guys, maybe you have an idea. So uh, if you were watching Discord, you've seen the new rudder pad pedals I bought. So I have it to my left here right now. So I actually have a free access here. And I'm not sure if I can use it anywhere in trucking. I, I can have like additional two three axes if i choose maybe use it for i don't know trailer brake or no <laughs> so <laughs> but yeah it's just to the left of my foot right now so if you have any ideas let me know oh this lighting i think is my least favorite one from project next gen I know it should signify like sunset view, but it just gets so dark. I think the skybox needs to be altered here. Or the lighting. It's too dark in this moment. You despise Chrysler. You've had to work on them. <laughs> but not the best durability. Are they more looks than functionality? Something along these lines. Trailer was personalized. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine you wanting to wreck the car. An old Dodge. <laughs> Older Chrysler cars were made really well compared to the ones they make now. Which country is my favorite to drive through in ETS2? Oh my goodness, yeah. Um, that varies a lot depending on my mood. Um, for sightseeing, maybe Norway. I can think of the, what was that, North Cape? For roads, it's harder. Because there are so many great roads out there. Relaxing roads, definitely Germany, because the Autobahnen are just such 
like such a pleasure to drive in so relaxing not much thinking necessary if i want a bit of excitement i go to maybe belgium or spain for the windy junctions and stuff <clears throat> ford and gm I tried using a car mod. If you look at the YouTube channel, exclamation point YouTube, there is a series, a playlist called Trucker for Hire. I where we kind of drive a car in the beginning of the video, we go to the truck company and switch to a truck. So we are like simulating that we are a truck driver coming from the house or anywhere else and driving to work. So I do have a couple of car mods in there, but the problem with car mods in general is they're not very well done. There are a few exceptions out there, but in general they're not very good. So it's hard to find a nice mod that works. And they, oftentimes they're not updated um, consistently. And with all the updates we get in ETS2 or ATS, they easily get left behind and become incompatible. Ford, yay, GM, meh. <laughs> Chrysler, <ugh. laughs> Honda, yuck, ban. <laughs> Yikes. How about Toyota? Spain is best because of the signage. Spain is best because of all those uh, convoluted junctions. My goodness. America only cars. All vehicles are throwaway cars. So many brand new cars in the junkyard. Blown engines or something broken. Yikes. Yeah, I guess nowadays durability isn't the number one thing they prioritize, huh? Cost cutting so that it those so they can make a sale or something. down to 80 let's go down to 60 okay interesting highway interesting sunset as well here <clears throat> the FSG no I haven't tried it yet does it have large coverage of roads now I think I was looking at it before when it was still in early stages but i think the number of roads i was still waiting for it to grow more before i get into it because i'm a bit lazy when it comes to creating a new profile a lot of setup involved in there automobile industry yeah pro mod spain i don't think even scs will make theirs as detailed in interest of performance that's a good point yeah they will have some big shoes to fill SES because Promos did an amazing job there I hope they can find the right balance between looks and performance it's raining This game isn't made for cars. Gas topping up at the car station. Yeah, the physics is almost always wonky as well with the car mods because it requires different settings in the I don't know in the axles or something. In the engine as well. And uh, many modders don't get it right. So they're super wonky. It's hard to find a good mod. Make it cheap, sell it for more. Yeah. Such is the case oftentimes. I like the shininess on the road. Looks so real. Reflections are nice.
Where was that when I'm reading? EM Spain will always be better no matter what SES does. Well, SES has been known to surprise us at certain times, so I think I'm... Maybe it won't be as detailed, but maybe they will make up for it in some other way. Like unique industries or unique, uh, I don't know, something. This is now the new town, I think we're passing through Brad. Still pretty limited. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Let's wait for that to progress. It gets linear very quickly. A to B, then B to A. I get it. Yeah, that's the problem with one is to one maps. They are so hard to develop. It really takes a huge amount of effort. And you get the you explore the roads very quickly. Yeah, the coach, you're a coach sim, right? There are like hints every now and then, like bus stations, bus depots in some of the new areas that they build. So it kind of gives you hope that they are still working on it or, or what the heck that they're still that they still have it on the back of their minds i think is that me or was were the roads slippier than usual might be i think they introduced that recently right with 138 it seemed like braking was a bit harder looks like i slid, slid off a bit <clears throat> now i think we can sleep it's not much sightseeing going on here and also so that the rain passes. Yeah, I think your coach sim is way deprioritized. Otherwise they would have made teasers about it already. So when it comes to bus sims, I think we rely on other companies at the moment. There are some companies that are coming out with something though, right? Lots of things in the horizon when it comes to bus simulators. Looking forward to those. Yeah, it is more slippy. Or slippier, what is the right term? Can't even break into the gas station. Interesting. Didn't expect physics to be changed that much. It's very welcome. Well... My truck is almost full, I didn't really need to refuel. What I needed to do was sleep. Merced County 1 is the 1 map for ATS. I have not heard of that yet. Where is that based? Which ICS works together with the modders. Yeah, it's just like in farm sim, right? Where they have this entire approval process and then they have like an in-game modding uh, community that will definitely unlock a lot of things because many people don't like like downloading from shady websites or bothering to download place files in a folder manually. Not everyone is technical and people just want the fuss-free experience sometimes. So having like official mods or approved mods is going to really improve that. That's in California. Ah. Is it? Like I have not heard of that either. Is that developed already? Yeah, they would maybe need a se an entirely separate modding department who will take care of approval in working with modders. That is definitely something I will I would like to have. Not sure if they have any plans on it though. I think they're happy enough with Steam Workshop. These roads are pretty windy. Mm. 
62 well favoritism probably won't be an issue if they have an actual like approval process I mean if they can implement something similar to what Giants has with farm sim I think that can work also for them lots of different modders having their works approved and then getting into the mod hub I think they call it that mod uh, feature inside farm sim it's going to be useful although yeah I think they really need to expand their company for that to happen that would require a whole new department I would imagine wow intestinal road coming up it's pretty steep my goodness I like how the cliffs are looking like here though this looks like a an ATS DLC goodness very nicely done I guess this is new Whoa. yikes the guy working on Merced County has done so for about a year and a half ah nice oh that's taking quite some time now One sec. Am I back? I think we're back. Okay. Mrs. Clumsy was asking about where her mask is. <laughs> she has an appointment. A hair appointment. Hey. Whoa. Is that Rohan Civic? No. That's my car mod. <laughs> That's why I'm not using the car mod anymore. That's a nice addition though. Nice attention to detail there. Mrs. Clumsy needs to take the wheel. <laughs> I think so too. <clears throat> Started the uh, one is the one map in Del Norte and the Humboldt countries in Northwest California. One is the one maps are certainly on the rise. Well, and yeah, I heard you were developing something. Nice to get some more details on that. Looking forward to what you have in store for us, NL. steep here automatic transmission is not liking this doesn't want to shift yeah when I had the haircut it was a bit weird because you had to had your mask on the entire time but then they would need to get like like in the ear right under the ear for some parts of the haircut so they would remove like one side of it work on that and then they would bring it back so they've developed some kind of process for it which is nice whoa even the retarder can't handle it fully I think you have to have both engine brake and retarder old areas are expanding the map to be honest I think they're, they'll continue expanding and use those for the paid map DLCs but at the same time they will work on reworking old areas but at a lower priority 
because those will be free. At least that's the direction they've been taking before. I'm not sure if they're planning to change any of that methodology. But that would be the, I guess, the logical expectation from them. It's not what I would like, but I think given their current trajectory, that is the way they do things. This is a very nice road. I'll take photo. Yeah, mostly Tagalog when we speak to each other. Bit of English here and there, but mostly Tagalog. Oh, this is so nice. Look at this, guys. It is a bit laggy though. Blame all those trees. Yeah, that's how they've done it before. They are doing reworks of the old areas, but it's very slow, like low priority. It's not like the effort they put into a new DLC, which is understandable and that's why I would prefer they make those reworks into a paid DLC though they, so they can put more priority in them. This clumsy is going. Hey Dylan, PC only unfortunately. Yeah, I guess UK. Or Ireland maybe, but I, I doubt they will go that route. I would bet either to the east or to the north. Either Norway Sweden or Russia. Yes, wife taking the husband's name. Officially, yes, but it's such a pain when you're living abroad. Like, we, we tried it one time. Um, but she, in order to make it work, you need to have some papers filed and those papers need to originate from the Philippines. So you can't just file the paperwork in the embassy here. That process is not well developed. So you have to go home, take a couple of days maybe or maybe a week to finish the paperwork and then submit those to the embassy here, which is I guess, defeating the purpose of it. I'm not sure if it has changed since, but we haven't tried. So her papers here, like her pass here, her work pass here, is still her maiden name. But in the Philippines, we have started using her, like her, her, my family name she's taken already. But yes, that's definitely uh, the norm in the Philippines. Is it the same here in Singapore? Is it, how does it work? In here, you oftentimes lead with the family name, right? Family name and then given name. Is that more of a Chinese culture? Expand to either Greece. Oh yeah, that's true. They can expand to Greece. Yeah, that's still a very uncharted territory. Might have a lot of potential there. Yeah, I think they will go east, east or southeast. That seems sensical. Where is Pripyat? The Balkans are politically controversial. Ah, yeah, that's true. That might be the tricky thing, though, huh? If there are political problems that may arise they might try to avoid those it's a good point right you go with the family name first right mm. 
Near Chernobyl. Ah, I see. So that should be part of Row X, I guess. That sounds familiar, the place. Maybe we've been there in one of the previous sessions. More of an old-fashioned thing here. Nowadays, less women are taking up their husbands' last names. Ah, I see. So before it was a thing. Nowadays, not so much anymore. I see. Nowadays, in, in the Philippine culture, I think more people are using the hyphenated um, approach. You might have seen some names like that. Like their maiden family name, Dash, the family name from the husband. But it's like, yeah, there's no real rule there. It's up to you. But for me personally, I don't mind. I don't mind if she keeps her, her maiden name. It's just simpler if you have the same family name. It's easier to say that you're married. You know, it's easier to signify. <laughs> it's easier to show. Right past the nuclear reactor. Yikes. I remember that one. Ukraine, Belarus area first. The radioactivity area. Goodness. Yeah, that seems like a fun, possibly exciting route. Huh? There there are like real trucking routes there maybe SCS can have that as a viable expansion or maybe what if they this is a thought instead of continuing to expand to other areas they can decide to have other paid DLCs like instead of expanding the map focus on gameplay elements and add that as a DLC although I doubt it I doubt they'll go that route. Because if they've invested so much in hiring mappers, hiring employees who know how to map stuff, and if they go a different route, then that means their allocation, the, the people who work with, for example, trucks or the gameplay should get more priority because the map, paid DLCs will go that route. I think it will be a huge shift. That will need a lot of reshuffling in the organization. So they'll probably keep status quo and uh, continue expanding the map, having those as paid DLCs and the, the gameplay elements additions. Those will be free. But yeah, I'd, I'd be happy enough to pay for DLCs as well, focusing on gameplay elements. So we finally get a chance to get those. <clears throat> Fiddling with buttons, you know. Going out of the truck. Working with those cables. It's adding to the immersion. There's also political insanity in the country's east and Crimea. Yikes. So it looks like, yeah, that's not stable either. Quite tricky. Oh, I like the lighting here. It's very natural lighting. <clears throat> My goodness, everywhere you go. Such an amazing experience. Actually, when 138 came out, I was not planning on any map mods until Pro Mods came out. I don't know, I had that impression that like everything was incompatible because Pro Mods was incompatible. And I forgot all about this amazing community outside of Pro Mods. So I'm happy when I was happy when I explored the Roex forums again, and when I came upon Wombat Trucker's video, and it made me realize, wait a minute, I don't need to wait for Pro Mods 2.50. I know it's going to be amazing, but 
I have we have other members of the community as well who's doing amazing work and those are compatible now so I went to the ROX forums I saw indeed there were updates to Rust map um, compatibility for 138 was there and now I saw ROX 2.7 was there so I was like ah oh, perfect yes this is the amazing thing because pro mods is uh, getting really big right you're getting into a bigger organization I would say compared to all the other teams and the bigger your organization is the harder it is to pivot the more things you have to organize so I can imagine the organizational challenges there and as a result turnaround time can be a bit slower as compared to the like more individual contributors in our community they can easily pivot like Arias maybe oh I want to rebuild this he does it releases it he uh, does it releases it releases a beta for it compare that with pro mod someone makes I don't know someone remakes Iceland they, they, they finished it they need to release it to their beta testers then it needs to go along with the with the, the common release like it can't just go out when it's ready it has to be like a proper timing with other releases as well so yeah that all adds to the turnaround time which is understandable it's just the way it is but that's the beauty of it so not only pro mods uh, contributing but everyone else as well and this time it's row x that is really shining in this session such a refreshing thing and even though i can't pronounce like 99 percent of the places <laughs> at least i can still get to enjoy them <clears throat> and focus in a new game with the same map but with a different graphics engine i hope that can be but i'm also doubtful if we follow the interview from Pavel before I think their direction is to keep on supporting ETS2 and just adding the updates releasing DLCs for it bit by bit but I don't think they have plans on creating a new game <clears throat> I think I'll have to go a bit slower here So what graphics mods do you guys have enabled at the moment? I remember I was planning to use realistic brutal weather here when I saw that JPX wasn't playing well with this truck. I was getting a buggy windshield. Like the textures on the windshield was wrong. And I think it has something to do with load order because JPX specified that you have to put the truck models above his mods. And I think that's the normal load behavior but that's not really how I set up mine and I'm too lazy to bring all of those up and shuffle my the load order that I've gotten used to so I didn't use it for now that and uh, Arias is not the biggest fan of JBX and I figured when I'm featuring his map maybe he would want to also use the map that or the graphics mod that he doesn't really that he kind of likes better <laughs> so those factors made me look for something else and initially I was thinking of realistic brutal weather but I really cannot stand it unfortunately I know some of you guys like it but I'm not a fan of the haze in the morning and I usually start my deliveries my trips in the morning like 7 a.m. and the haze is intense it's just like everything is like foggy by default and I, I fast forwarded at the time and I saw that by around noon time afternoon the haze disappears but I mean if I start my deliveries in the morning that means most of the day most of the trip I will have that haze there and I I'm not a fan so even though the skies were okay 
it looked pretty good and overall the mod was good looking the haze was what really put me off if there's a way to switch it off maybe i can try it out again yeah the, well the graphics i think has a lot of um potential that is the main reason why they moved to direct x11 and they've done that so the next phase would be to leverage on that so i don't think they need to upgrade the engine again i just i think they need to utilize more of what the engine can offer you switch to rbw was using rgm for ages what do you like more about rbw than rgm <laughs> Ukraine, we are in Ukraine now. We should be coming soon to uh oh, what's the name of the place? Murkachevo or something? Clumsland, yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. So Alex, I think you're use still using RBW, right? I think so, is Rohan. I think many of the people in the in our community are using RBW. And I really tried, but I think just not to my taste. <clears throat> At least that haze part. Wow, for a change, Project Next Gen is very vibrant. It's actually quite nice, quite refreshing. No, just the mod is fine. I try to stay away from the shaders because it takes away from performance and, and it's another step another step to maintain. So if I can, I try to avoid them. Yeah, same here. I'm happy, I'm okay enough with mods, but having that additional layer, I'm a bit put off with if it's really needed. Like for Project Next Gen, I think there are NVIDIA filters that you can apply. <clears throat> and they take away a bit of frames for me. And the effect is not really what I'm looking for. Like it adds, adds a bit of Instagram-ish look that uh, it's not very natural for me I also like the rain in RBW I see <clears throat> so, but yeah despite which weather mod you use i highly recommend getting the textures from project next gen at least for ets2 that's there so far it has been really good even driving through some of the old areas like going east areas going east dlc areas i hardly even noticed that i was in an old area already because it's just just improves most of the textures we have and it uh, actually blends them pretty well in the older project next gen textures there were some which i didn't like some repetitive ones some that transitioned very abruptly but yeah with the new release the new paid release 0 0.7 it really is quite cohesive now i actually don't know anymore when something is changing i just know that the general look i really like yeah the sky boxes i think could be improved for rbw and for project next gen alike for rbw i think the sky boxes are okay they're just a bit low quality they're a bit blurred when you zoom in but the overall look is nice with project next gen i think I think the brightness could be the factor like maybe have to tweak the bright the exposure a bit so it doesn't darken the 
rest of the scenery. You don't use any graphics mods, yeah? That's something that you can do as well. I mean, the, the, the base graphics are not bad. So... They could be better for sure, but... It's not like they're a deal breaker. I really like the look of PNG. Very natural look. Very close. I think this is the closest one to default weather. Sometimes it's a bit too close for my liking though. But I think with this recent update, he upda he improved the... What do you call? He improved the, the, the skyboxes maybe for night. The one you saw in the beginning of the stream. Oh, this is Mukachevo. We actually have started exploring the area already. And I only noticed because I saw this scene with everything in it. All the buildings, all the trees. And this scene just looks so real. I mean, of course, I cannot compare it with the real thing, but... It looks like a real location. Wow. Bit laggy. But that might be due to my anti-aliasing settings take that I don't like the lighting in base graphics it becomes too dark sometimes it's the same problem project next gen it's it's quite interesting though that the um, the shadows uh, not shadows the sky boxes who was that? Was it Plum? I think it was Plum who saw that there are new skyboxes buried. Yikes. I don't think that's a random event. How did you end up in that situation? That must have taken quite a bit of effort. You use RGM. Because you don't need shaders. Yeah. Well, some mods don't need shaders either. But yeah, with RGM, you get that added bonus of not needing... Well, it auto-updates because it's in the Steam Workshop. I think it's the only one there. Oh, natural looks, we miss you. <laughs> oh, that's very true. I miss my mug as well in-game. I wonder if Grail will come, he'll be coming back. <clears throat> I hope so. I hope he's doing fine. Yeah, NL was a real game changer. I think in the ETS2 I had no complaints. It was bright at times, but it was along those... It was along that range where I still liked it. In ATS, it got a bit too bright. In that, I, there was a skybox I particularly hated. So for ATS, it could be improved. And that was understandable because, yeah, it was just, like, ported over to ATS. It was not even released to the public. But yeah, the ATS2 version, I can live with that. But yeah, a lot of people don't like NL because some just don't prefer, just don't like the look, and that's fine. We all have different tastes. But one more detractor, I think, is the entire download process. It is the most controversial, it has the most controversial download process I've seen, all the mods I've tried. I think you need to register on two different forums, right? Um, Trejon and NL and then you have all these uh, download mechanics you had to have like a Q&A portion even <laughs> you have to go all through those hoops and uh, my goodness 
I got so many comments asking for support on that and I had to always point them to the NL support forum. I think if to put it roughly, maybe maybe not half, but maybe 20-30% of all the comments in my channel are about NL, questions about NL, either questions or complaints about the download process. Try to register and it wouldn't let you. <laughs> Yeah, I've not even tried. We are lucky to be in the the closed beta branch. Um, it seemed like NL stopped totally. So I'm not sure if Kirill is trying to make a comeback. So for us, in the closed beta branch, we have um, a different way of obtaining the files. We use the what they call it subversion SVN. Oh my goodness! And uh, that requires a server. I think they pay for that server, if I'm not mistaken. And a couple of months ago, they stopped maintaining that. So I think the server is actually down right now. And that's a sign that uh, things are stopping. So from my point of view, I didn't really get in touch with Kirill since then. But from my point of view, it stopped. It's not on pause, it stopped. The only question is if he will come back eventually. Get getting the questions wrong. Yeah, it does. That's true. Hey, Sanzimiano. Glad you could join the stream, man. Fancy seeing you here. Yeah, it's very late in Europe. Where are you from again? <clears throat> See you very active in Discord. Glad you were able to join there. <clears throat> and you have been getting into flight sims now as well, right? Nice to see. I was thinking I would fly after this stream. Practice a bit more on my rudder pedals, but I remembered I have to cook lunch. <laughs> Netherlands, oh wow, yeah. What time is it? 4.25? We're sleeping, but suddenly woke up. Yikes. Uh, with summer, you get a very early, a very early sunrise anyway, right? What time is the sunrise there these days? <clears throat> I'm so happy that the FS2020 videos are getting released. I'm just feeling a bit left out that I was not included but then I completely understand <clears throat> I'm only starting off in flight sim and the channel is not really so flight sim focused yet <clears throat> but my goodness the videos are very promising for the sim it looks like it will live up to the hype and for sure there will be a lot of imperfections from day one but I think overall it's something that we will really enjoy okay I think we are leaving raw X area here because we are crossing to did I just see Slovakia In about an hour eating can wait just take an in-flight <laughs> that's true I can always have something delivered so I can fly <laughs> outsource it slow finsko um, now what country is that 
Yes, that's Slovakia. Slovenia is, should be more to the west, isn't it? Oh man, I'm so bad at this. And because I switched to a, a, a map, a geographical map, a satellite map, I don't have the country borders anymore. Slovakia, okay, thank you. <clears throat> there you go. That's my hint as well. That's my clue. Slovenia is closer to Italy and Austria, so more to the west. Force feedback joystick? No. Where is that? I have not heard anything about that. Thrustmaster TCA stick. That would be a good starting point. Although if you're planning to fly... Like in general aviation, I would highly recommend getting a yoke. Because the yoke is a totally different experience. <laughs> if you're planning on flying only the Airbus, I think the side stick would be perfect. <clears throat> Still lurking. Thanks, Slovakia indeed. So I guess we're out of Row X now. But this view is not bad. Maybe this is still part of Row X. Maybe the outskirts? I have no clue. I'm really bad at determining the mod borders. I wish there was something that they could do to like signify which mod it is. Like, I don't know, change the road color? I have no idea put in some kind of overlay there if you're planning on planning you're, if you plan on flying the 737 then definitely a yoke would be much more fitting I mean it's not you can use a joystick that's for sure but when I switch to a yoke it just is was a very different experience and there's something to be said with like working on a yoke and seeing in game or in sim a, a yoke as well so it feels more immersive when you have it one is to one well, that looks very nice dang it that view looks very nice is this going east dlc why do we have so much detail in here it feels like from still the mod. Would the yoke be practical for the Airbus 2? Unfortunately not. The Airbus uses a side stick in real life, so in that case a joystick would be closer. But you can still use either. So yeah, if you have limited budget, then maybe a joystick would be safer. And then if you decide to pursue GA more later on, then a yoke could be an option. But yeah, see first if you would like it that much. Twelve fifty euros and doesn't actually include the stick. Runner force feedback joystick from Switzerland. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wonder how that would work with the Sims. Because I'm guessing the simulation, the Sims should support that kind of force feedback mechanism, huh? <clears throat> if a force feedback joystick is possible, so is a force feedback shifter. That's very true. Although I can imagine the complexity that would bring. Like SCS would have to spit out somehow the, the the instances when you can't shift and it has to reflect the force feedback accordingly. Could get complicated, but that sounds very interesting. I would love that. Hey, thanks for following, guys. Feel free to join us in chat. Say hello. So for me, one of the one of the 
markers that I'm in an old area already is when I start seeing the project next gen textures. The spotty. I'm not sure if you can see it on the stream level. The spotty shoulder marking. The dots. I'm not sure how you call it. That is something project next gen specific. And that is something that comes out when you are in old roads. Also, one thing that indicates that I'm in an old area is these super curvy roads. And the poor junctions for sure. Yes, I think in the analytics there is something like that. I didn't, I don't really look at it, but I think majority are mobile. Um, the last time I checked, I don't check it too often though. It's the scenery that you look at, and it did determine it's old from there. I see. High heels all the way around, that's true. Barriers at the side so there's no scenery behind. Ah, yeah, that's a good trick, huh? I, I for sure have that visibility on the device. The resolution I have not seen yet. Oh, this is a clear sign that it's old area. That junction right there. Oh, I hate this kind. It's a nice trick. Very smooth. Yes, yes, isn't lazy and they've been very good at law long draw distance you know, yeah they're really maxing out what the engine can do doing all the workarounds possible to extend the viewing distance and minimize those cutting off things where am i going i should have gone left oh my goodness this is bad yeah i hate this prefab as well so fake very aged Ramps are short, skimpy, and prone for you to get lost. Push it. There you go. Have a good night, Scotsman. Hope you get your new hard drive soon. Let us know what you put in it. Hopefully not too much of Amsterdam pics. <laughs> Have a good one, man. <clears throat> Definitely going to add more trains. No doubt about it. Lublin. Lublin feels feels like it's somewhere in the UK. <laughs> Maybe that transition in the road isn't the smoothest. That spot in the middle of that junction. But yeah, Project Next Gen makes this old area not look as dated as it should be. Very nice. And couple that with the 4x anti-aliasing from NPI. This is really such a refreshing visual. Yes, I'm using it. CH Eclipse Yoke. I think it's it should be very cheap. It's very toyish. So you won't feel that it's a real thing at all, but at least you'll have a yoke, you'll have three throttles, you'll have pseudo-rudder pedals, 
and it's a, in my opinion the perfect way to start getting into civil aviation yes because of Dublin <laughs> exactly <clears throat> oh I thought that was 30 it's 80 also with project next gen if I remember correctly yeah, I think Damien is Polish so he has a lot of modifications in Poland not only the textures on the road but even the signages I think were changed so more details were put in I'm not sure if there are actual changes on the road I doubt it I think it's mostly textures but I think even the signs have been textures on the signs have changed We'll see if we notice any of that as we pass through. Here we are, starting now in Poland. <clears throat> very nice countryside road, very chill. Uh, you can see the look of it it looks pretty toyish right so don't expect to get any like premium feel out of it but it should give you a nice feeling of how a plane should feel like and you won't need anything else go for the ffp yoke <laughs> yeah it's good because normally you would need like if you get the logitech um flight pack i'm not sure what you call it comes with a yoke comes with a throttle comes with rudder pedals those are three different equipments and i can only imagine the price that that would take combine all that you get the ch eclipse yoke and a bit more toyish feel but at the factor of the cost fraction of the cost rather this is single player super miro Thanks for joining. I don't do MP trucking so much because I like having my mods in. And I like having AI cars in there. I wish there was a way to play MP and still retain all the mods and all the AI cars. Because the main problem with playing MP is you have to play with somebody. Otherwise, it's too lonely on the road. But if we can eventually get a chance where all the mods can be there and all the AI can be there then I would for sure always be an MP because that way if anyone drop, wants to drop by wants to join they can do so and I think that's what's uh, and I'm going to plug what is that? <laughs> I'm not sure what more discussing that but that might be a bit painful for those AI drivers um, <laughs> okay. we love mods um, but yeah th that is what I like about flight sim also yeah plugging back into flight sim again flight sim 2020 because that multiplayer experience looks very seamless you can get a mix of like live traffic ai traffic or multiplayer true multiplayer experience in the same game so i expect when i get into flight sim 2020 i will go into the multiplayer feature so you guys can join me whenever <laughs> people drive like me yes that's very true Not all though, and oftentimes, well, in, in the limited times that I've driven in Bro Mod server, that special server in Truckers MP that has Bro Mods in it, I've gotten a very nice experience. I think the trolls are minimal when it comes to the Bro Mods MP. So it's not that bad, it's just that it's a bit lonely because we don't have mods and we don't have enough people. Alright, NL. Oh yeah, hope it's negative. 
Stay safe, man. Stay healthy. <clears throat> Have a nice weekend. Ah, this is such a nice drive. I'm happy I went back to the Vedic. Although I heard I I was reading through the comments for this truck, Def XF by Vedic, and I I saw that Vadik actually doesn't play ETS2 anymore. He and his friends don't play ETS2 anymore, which is sad. And I'm not sure why. There's no traffic light. I thought there was a traffic light. Not sure if they maybe don't like something about one of the recent updates. Maybe with F mod or I don't know. I have no idea. But yeah, he just mentioned that they don't play ETS2 anymore. But thankfully, he's still updating the mod. <clears throat> Normally, they would, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he just totally abandoned it if he got fed up with ETS2 now. Because this is one of the best truck mods out there. Definitely in my top three, maybe, or top five at least. The only reason why I was not using this truck as much before is it didn't have an updated sound pack. So I was waiting for EVR or Krishbom to make something. Thankfully, RJ stepped in. He did a lot better for us. Actually, I, I accidentally enabled something different. So... When I was first testing out this truck, um, I didn't realize, so I, I, I enabled this truck, I enabled RJ's sound mod, but when I was choosing an engine, I had a couple of options and I was like, hmm, okay, maybe this one by EVR because he did mention that the sounds were from EVR, so I picked that one. And it sounded okay, but it didn't sound very alive. I know, like something was missing and I was like ah, it didn't turn up so good so I, I was a bit curious because I watched RJ's video and the sounds from his video were really good so I compared what I was hearing in game with what he had in his video and I was like even the startup engine sound was different like oh, this is a different mod I'm hearing and it turned out I actually had a different mod by Almono, I think. Almono um, basically ported over exactly EVR sounds from way back for this truck. So he ported it over to F mod for 137, and I was using that with this truck. And I, I didn't, I forgot to disable it. So I was actually hearing EVR's almost original sounds. Oh, this is nice. Driving side by side with a truck so cool let's try to race it so we can take a photo with the end of that bridge but yeah when i removed that and when i set the correct engine to rj's this is the end result and this is much much better picture i think we can make a photo of that you're driving the same truck but with tandem trailer oh yeah that's a good combo yeah it's nice that it's supported as well with this truck oh man it didn't quite overtake him it's a bit fast that must be Scotsman. That's why he left. He had a job to do. That's pretty cool though. I will take that. Thank you. Skies are a bit dark, but we can live with that. There you go. I'm using the yoke for all flights except when I'm flying an Airbus. Before, I used to do that as well, even for the Airbus, but since I have a Hotas anyway, just using the joystick when I'm flying the Airbus so it's more realistic. But you could easily use that for the Airbus too, and it should be fine. If you want, you can like just use one hand for the yoke. The yoke has two handles anyway. <laughs> and sometimes you do that in real life, right? When you're landing, when you're taking off, you have one hand on the yoke and one hand on the throttle.
Hey Stylo. What is the AM land? Maybe not because I don't know what it is. No, no problem Rohan, ask away. I'm happy enough for you to get into flight sim. So, yeah. Ask away and I'll try to answer. Because the more people I have in the flight sim community, the easier it will be for everyone. More inputs, more sharing of news. You know how we have it currently in trucking. We have so many people into trucking. Get all this new info. Oh, someone released a new mod. Or oh, there's an update. Oh, there's this rumor. Oh, there's this trick that I found. And it's just crowdsourcing all that cool information. And this is why I really enjoy having this community with you guys. So if you can have that same thing, try to build up something like that for flight sim as well. My goodness. That will just blow me away. Oh, Dutch. No, yeah. There you go, what Alex said. <clears throat> yeah, although I can imagine my accent can be quite challenging to place. I guess more if you're in a European country, maybe you're not familiar with my accent. But if you're in the US, chances are you've heard this accent because there are so many Filipinos in the US. In Europe though, not as many, although still plenty, but I think not as pronounced. Hey Agility, thanks for the follow a while ago, appreciate it, and thanks for joining the chat. Aya, my goodness, he wouldn't let me pass, even just one microsecond. Yeah, look at the, the beads, what do you call that anyway? I really like that, that texture, that additional texture on the road marking, that's so nice. Doing good. It's a holiday here today, so exceptionally well. <laughs> we like Filipino taco trucks over Mexican taco trucks. Ah, interesting. I didn't even know we had taco trucks. Maybe that's a Filipino rendition on tacos. I can imagine that. I bet it would be sweeter and less spicy that was the case expensive job with all those signs <laughs> that's very true <laughs> oh I love the reflections here it's like a photo yeah one thing that I really like about project next gen well I like many things about it but the water textures are really well done I would call Damien the water master because he's done such an amazing job at improving these water ripples and reflections but not only that, also in the rain, when it rains, the water drops you get on the windshield that looks so real. And the water streaks that are coming from the tires. So good. Let's go with that. Yes, perfect. Yeah, skybox. Very nice. If you zoom in, it's not as high quality as NL, so you get a bit of pixelation in there, but from this view, not a problem. <clears throat> we'll see how it looks at night. My goodness, my throat is getting tired. Well, I guess three hours of talking does that. <laughs> I don't know how other streamers do it for like six hours how about a 24 hour stream how do how do I, I don't know how that works do they just stop talking at some points maybe maybe they don't talk as much as I do maybe you can eventually train yourself to talk non-stop they sleep in the middle <laughs> it becomes a sleeping stream somewhere in between Wombat streamed the entire Dalton Highway map in one stream. My goodness, how long did that last? When you learn another language, your tongue gets tired more often. Ah, maybe, yeah, because it takes, I guess it takes more effort, right? Like an uphill battle when you're using a different language. Could be. Had NL2, but suddenly they got very silent. Yeah, it stopped. The updates. 
unfortunately. That's the risk we, we get with the uh, in the modding community. It can go dark in one second. And they are not we are not entitled to any kind of explanation, strictly speaking. I like that. As the sun sets and you get that pinkish hue on the sky. It just looks so relaxing. Could not do a three hour stream. Alex knows. Did you try it once? <laughs> yeah, I guess it takes practice. Eventually you get used to it. Maybe eventually you learn how to pace yourself as well. Hopefully your 100 bucks comes soon enough. That will see three streams a week. Oh yeah, in Patreon, huh? Just through. <clears throat> that would be great. <laughs> yeah, thanks man. Really appreciate it. It's so cool having that kind of... Um, that kind of system. And I really understand the power of that now directly supporting the people you believe in just is a very fulfilling experience knowing that you contributed something to that directly or oh, here we go the water drops i'm mentioning maybe i don't turn on the wiper so you can see it better even at night yeah transition from city to highway that's true i didn't even notice it there you go, the water droplets are much smaller than in default SES and this in my opinion looks so much more realistic. The one from SES looks more like a blob, like you know it's kind of some kind of liquid but it doesn't look like water, it looks more like I don't know, mercury or something, you know, something like in those blood pressure checking things, like it's viscous. It was entertaining. Why what happened? We're doing a New Year's stream and was trying to go beyond 12 but was falling asleep and crashing. <laughs> that might be more the time than the... That might be more the lateness of the day than the duration of the stream. <laughs> I bet I would have the same problem. I remember when we streamed at, at my night time. During one of the special streams, yeah, I, I, I was having a bit of hard time staying up. Definitely starting to doze off a bit. High hills on both sides of the highway. Ah, yeah. And yes, this one. The junction with this, just the single lane that's going straight. It was a trick that they used. I see. Good to know didn't realize that before it was three plus hours wow so you did last that long nice I surprise you're going the speed limit I try to follow it as much as I can I don't always do a good job job at it though if you look at all the penalties we've racked up this stream but I try but yeah this is why I oftentimes get comments like why do you drive so slow <laughs> Well, I am trying to simulate stuff in a simulator. Yeah, the single lane junction, absolutely hate it. Before the GPS got upgraded and I got all those arrows, I would always get lost. Yeah, like this one. Sudden transition from highway to city and then you don't get enough time to slow down and you get a ticket as a result. I blame more the sudden transition of old roads here than the lack of driving skills, but maybe I'm biased. <laughs> Look how close up close together those 80, those 70 and 50 limit signs were. Why did they damage my trailer there? Weird. Oh maybe it was slipping. Maybe it was slipping in the rain. Cool. Should have slowed down. Look 
the reflections here. It's interesting how the road inside is also wet, but I guess that makes sense, right? The the wetness from the tires would um, creep through in the road, even inside the tunnel. Am I speeding again? Yes, I am. One of these junctions. Wow! The physics really is different. Look how hard I'm pressing on the brakes here. And how far we drifted over. If it was not raining, I would have made that stop, definitely. Nice! Okay, so now you really have to be careful in-game. It's nice that they added that in 138. Kept crashing with me in the truck. Still traumatized. <laughs> yeah, it was a good example of how fatigue affects you, affects your driving. Promotes change the signs but not the prefabs, I see. Yeah, that's why you need pro mods in these older areas, but some areas they've not uh, been able to fix as well. Maybe work in progress. Highway from Geneva to Zurich. Yeah, you really notice those differences, right? Project Next Gen hides that a bit because you see nice textures. But... Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be enough to cover the imperfections in the junction. This is rain sounds a bit strange, as if there is no sound isolation in the truck. Ah, that's a good point, I haven't noticed that. I do like the sound of the wipers though. That's part of the truck sound mod from EVR originally, remixed by RJ. High speed ticket happens all the time, yeah. Especially in old roads, they don't really put much um, thought into the realistic uh, slowing down of the truck and the, the view from when the driver sees the sign from when the truck would react. Yeah, exactly. Police don't take physics into account. Seen FSG do the French speaking part of Switzerland. We're looking not bad. Oh, really? That's nice. Looking forward to trying it out. Oh. <laughs> the yellow light is so short here. No comment there. They update like twice a year, yikes. <laughs> yeah, I can bet it takes so much time. And I doubt this is the that is like a full time effort. It's probably something more of a hobby, a passion project. No profit from this trip. You might be right. Looks like the rain stopped. Hey, who? And it's 11 already, my goodness, how farther do we have to go? Mm, crap, I would like to finish this. Maybe we can extend a bit, guys. Maybe I can push it. Drive GTA style a bit. No, it shouldn't take long. Maybe 10, 15 minutes. Let's push on through the night so we can see some night skies. I see the stars coming up. Very nice effect, very subtle. RBW has rain sound inside better. Nice. Yeah, I think he changes that. That's good. Realistic sounds for the rain. Um, they said that it's there in ATS. I actually read about the physics change in ATS 138 beta thread. But yes, you're right. Personally, I haven't encountered it yet. Maybe we're just so good drivers, Alex, we don't notice it. <laughs> but yeah, it should be there. Not sure why I haven't seen it. <clears throat> I 
You just hit everything. <laughs> no need the rain for that. Every time you're caught speeding from the highway, that becomes the city immediately. Yeah. Uh, and very understandable. <laughs> In the Black Sea DLC, I was a bit prone to that as well. But that was more because I think there was enough space for it. But you have to get used to how the roads are laid out in the in Romania maybe. Because it's like country road and then you would it would suddenly start getting like buildings would start coming up. And after some time I got used to it and I was able to preempt. Like oh city is coming up. So even before I see the sign, I would slow down already. But maybe that's also a mapping problem, isn't it? I mean, the sign should be a uh, heads up. I don't know, in my opinion at least. That's why I really like that ATS. Uh, the, the way the signs are made in the US, it's very idiot proof. Like these um, speed limit changes that were coming up, like even before you get to 70, actual 70 limit, you would get a sign beforehand that says, whoop, slowing down to 70 soon. And that's very useful for me because sometimes the time by the time I, I see 70 it's too late uh, this, I would need to slow down then but yeah that might be more of a getting used to factor the sky I'm not liking so much here I know those should be stars, but I think it's a bit low quality. Looks a bit smudged even from this far. Which is understandable because it's so much harder to take photos at night. It's much more grainy and much harder to get all those details without the light. But I think that will require a bit more tweaking. This looks more like a a wallpaper than an actual night sky oh yes definitely the recommended speed signs are super useful for me especially in Idaho they have all of those Idaho has a lot of winding roads and in each bend there is a specific recommended speed very useful for guys like me who have no idea how to gauge how, how sharp a bend is the, that's why I suck in racing games. <laughs> I would never be able to... I, can I just buzz through that or should I slow down? Or and how much should I slow down? Those signs were meant exactly for me. Well, cruising the Idaho, doing the cruising Idaho event. Remember on the US 93 road north to Salmon. Oh yeah, that's a great route. Is that the one with lots of cliffs? I like that. Took so many screenshots there. <clears throat> Drink a bit. <clears throat> By the way guys, have you seen th this um, plugin? If you're not using Track IR, I highly recommend this smooth interior plugin. I think it should be in the mods list as well. Because if you're not using Track IR, you might be using the mouse or the keyboard or those um, buttons for moving the view. By default, that would be on the, on the numpad. Numpad 5 would center the view. And normally, when you click, or when you press on the other keys, it would snap to that view, right? But with the plugin, it's actually pretty smooth. Ouch, my bad. That one. And it's so much easier. It doesn't make me lost, like when I'm turning, I just do that. Press the appropriate key and it smoothly moves out. I think you can also change the setting make it slower make it faster even you can even add like a smoothing in and out effect so it's more fluid 
and it's not like a linear motion it's more like speeding up and slowing down as you go closer or the opposite way but it's so useful for me when i'm trucking offline i all i most of the time do this because i i don't like wearing caps for long periods it hurts my head so i, I just use the numpad and uh, just do this looking around very useful <clears throat> i don't like using the mouse because it's fidgety like that i like a bit of smoother motion than the mouse than what the mouse has if you have track IR then everything is super natural this is the best just have to live with wearing something <clears throat> you tipped over because you ignored the recommended speed limit yeah apparently it has a purpose <laughs> tried that too at some times when I got so lazy to slow down yeah no zero in F9 I hate that that happened to us at one point last bend before entering the city tipped over and lost that more than thousand kilometer job i hate that yeah one of the cliffs a lot of road signs for a free society <laughs> Five or ten over on freeways. Yeah, I doubt they would be super strict. Five MPH over on most roads is allowed. I think that's a safe thing. I mean, can be too fidgety on the rules. Leave a bit of room for error for the instruments or stuff, like, I guess. Or the room for error for the human imperfections. Speed trap areas, yikes. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, it feels like truck racing. Yeah, well, in game, there is a bit of tolerance as well. I'm not sure if it's a flat 5 kilometers per hour or percentage of the speed limit, but there is tolerance also. That's why in my cruise control settings, I allow to go beyond the speed limit, the, the cruise control set by 5 kilometers, so that I can get better fuel economy and uh, still not get any penalty. Some areas of the west, trucks are allowed to go even faster, especially at night. Ah, I see. Cars can go up to 150 kilometers. Yeah. I guess even faster than 150 at times. Cool stuff. 100 miles per hour goodness a truck going that fast That's scary i guess you would have to have super straight roads there huh no sudden scs old scs bend allowed very little traffic at night in some areas i hope so here we are 10 to 15 minutes indeed yeah SES bend or we should say old SES bend because now they've learned their lesson most of the time but in the olden days the SES bend is one of the most hazardous things you can encounter on the road we have plenty of those in the old highways I love this part. Engine growling and struggling to stay alive. So crisp. This really does feel like EVR with a crispness factor.
textbook parking. I'll take that, thank you. We actually did it, guys. Thank you for staying with me throughout the entire stream. Appreciate it. Awesome, excellent. Got a bit of trailer damage, but thankfully the cargo itself wasn't damaged. Nice. That's why you like Oregon flat straight roads endlessly. Oh, the same in Kansas, Oklahoma, and Nebraska. I hope SES reaches those. Yeah, for me, I like Washington because of all the bridges. <laughs> wow, it's dark. Anyway, let's call it there, guys. Thanks for extending for me. Had a great time, as always. Thank you for keeping me company. I'll catch you guys on Discord in the meantime. I'm going to binge on flight sim videos. <laughs> I also sent an email to Asobo Studio just in the off chance that I get into the early access thing, but I doubt it. But one can try, right? Anyway, thank you for hanging out. Have a good day. Catch you on Discord. Have a great weekend, guys. Clumsy trucking. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you.